To wirelessly program a Freeduino, we'll need a Synapse module with FTDI adapter on the PC side, and on the Arduino side, we'll need the Freeduino coupled with an XP shield and XP to Synapse adapter with a Synapse module on top of that to get it all programmed. Okay, so what you're looking is an ASCII broadcast coming from a Synapse module. That guy. See, he's reciting the ASCII table for an Arduino default sketch that comes with it. Let's go see where this is being broadcast from. Their friend Jeremy, who looks tired. <laughs> Now this is where we're broadcasting from. So let's take this guy, this guy, out here in the night. And we're going to put him on this back latch. Kind of hard to see him. Okay. So far we're seeing that the programming is a little bit more reliable than the data transfer. You can see that says done uploading. Let's go and check. Two things technicians do not do. They don't clean, they don't run. And there's our blink. So we're definitely seeing the uh, the reliability of the programming is consistent, it's just getting the full-time data feed through that uh, it doesn't seem to be as consistent. Using Google Earth, we can visualize how far away we are programming the Freeduino. Looks to be about 90 feet.